The chair now recognizes the gentlewoman from Arizona, Ms. McSally, for five minutes. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to recognize the outstanding individuals in my congressional district who I was proud to award as first responders of distinction earlier this week. We all benefit from the sacrificial work of our first responders, whether they have personally experienced it or responded to our emergency, or whether we indirectly benefit from it by enjoying the safety that they provide. The everyday acts of heroism, heroism by first responders in our community often goes uncelebrated. They keep our streets safe put their lives on the line during emergencies, provide assistance whenever needed, and save lives. Above and beyond even that standard of greatness, there are outstanding first responders in my district who serve Southern Arizona in truly extraordinary ways. These individuals organize community races, develop emergency preparedness training, log hundreds of volunteer hours, launch public education campaigns, and provide meals for disabled seniors. That's why I created the First Responders of Distinction Award, to, to shine a spotlight on individuals who make extraordinary contributions in our community. This year, we reached a significant number of nominations, and I was pleased to recognize each one for the role they play. Before I yield back, I want to point out I'm standing here in my professional attire, which happens to be a sleeveless dress and open-toe shoes. With that, Mr. Speaker, I yield back. The gentlewoman yields back, pursuant to Clause 12A of Rule 1.